Hi, my name is Gala. I'm a Lucre Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Repos. Today, I would like to present you one of my SEO templates based on G4 and Google Search Console. We have a Lucre Studio template store, choose report and Google Search Console. Where is it? This one, G4 and Google Search Console data. This is a dashboard page where you can buy it and read some overview and find a link to the template. And here is a template itself. First of all, what I do when I open a new dashboard, I go to Edit, Resource, Manage Edit Data Sources. And let's see what do we have here. We have J4 Fluidit account. This is Google Analytics demo account that you can easily connect to your Gmail. And then we have Google Search Console sample data that you have as well when you connect your when you start to work in Luther Studio. This is sample data provided for free. Um, okay, let's observe. What do we have here? Here we have title, uh, date range, and logo. Logo you can change to your project logo. Um, date range I selected last month, but yeah. You can change it or other, to other. And first section of this dashboard, this is Google Analytics section. This is J4. And here are organic traffic KPIs. Mm, I use, here I use uh, organic traffic filter. We can go to edit and check how we can see it. You can see J4 organic. Let's check what is the filter. This is organic search filter. So we have only search traffic because in J4 we have organic video and organic social. That is like YouTube and Facebook, Facebook's uh, organic Facebook, organic LinkedIn, and so on traffic. Here we have only search. Um, which metrics do we have here? We have sessions, we have engaged sessions, engaged rate, sessions per user, event, and events per session. No formulas here, just regular GA4 metrics. But here is more tricky stuff. This is organic traffic comparison with all website data. Uh, for that, I use blended data. You can see the data source connect uh, main G4 data with G4 data with organic traffic filter. So, and here I use some already here here i already use some custom formulas and we can see that 3.7 percent of all users is organic search and we can see that this number decreasing so if i work as seo manager i think it's bad so i prefer that this number increase but anyway probably company started some uh, paid ad activities last month and because all of these months and we have these numbers because of that. But anyway, it's nice to see this percentage in dynamic. We have same metrics, but comparison with the all website data. There, then we have some time series chart where you can see session source. So you can see that, yeah, you, Google Play, Google Bing, uh, and see from which website from which data source your users came, your organic users came. Uh, and uh, I would like to see some page analysis and see where my organic traffic users landed. Here we have same metrics as before and page breakdown. In demo account, nothing super interesting, but I'm sure if you change to your real Google Analytics account, the situation will be much more interesting than here. Um, what else? And here, yeah, I really like this chart and I really like uh, this overview. Let's go to the view mode, it's nicer to see. We have organic traffic sessions by page and month. So we have to pivot table and can see for each page how the number of sessions are uh, changing. And uh, we have scroll here. And, sorry, we have scroll here, and can see like ah, 
so we have less we had less sessions okay our organic session is growing but in june it's less but anyway it's really nice dynamic dynamic here and we have total number of sessions per page so i really like this view and i think it's super useful okay this is it for j4 and after that we have google search console data google search console has two properties to view uh, website and url data so different charts here i use one of these two um, data sources google search console is basic and uh, for me it's key metrics that you if you work with aco you should know them it's impressions clicks ctr and average position and here you have uh, this chart where you have impressions and average position we have double axis left and right because you cannot show it one chart both otherwise and here we have queries and we can see impressions clicks ctr and average position for each query it's super interesting why here is ah yeah because you have some like this google analytics demo account has some like one person's one clicks and CTR here is 100 percent yeah so you can see your data for the last month and uh, what else we can have from google search console we can have a device overview impressions clicks by device and ctr and average position as well divided by device <laughs> and uh, yeah, now it's the last <laughs> Uh, then we have geographical overview where we can see uh, breakdown by countries and here on the map you have optional metrics here and you can change impressions to clicks or average position or CTR wow so this is, this is Central African Republic has much bigger CTR than other countries <laughs> very interesting uh, but by default you have impressions here uh, google search cancer landing page data now uh, here data is different because a different data source for your case when you connect your own g4 and your own google search console this data will more or less match with google analytics data but in this case it's different it's super normal um, yeah, here we have a uh, landing page breakdown and you can see impressions, clicks, CTR and mm -hmm, average position. I will change it right now um, for each landing page. Let me do it right now. Wrong with my mouse. Average. Ah, oh, we don't have position here. Yeah because it's uh, based by URL and we don't have position here so I can just remove this and I can do nothing here uh, that is it I think this dashboard is basic but it's powerful you can see main data for your website and it's super nice to use I use it for my website as well to check my daily dynamic for my own website and i really recommend you to use this dashboard and one small moment if you like this dashboard you can buy this on my website um yeah it's super easy at basket and pay um, you will receive a link to the dashboard um, that you can copy and connect your own data sources and that is it super easy and fast to start to use let me know how do you like it um, if you want to customize the template, uh, please send me a message. We can talk about that. And yeah, hope you like this template and talk to you soon.